Friday for Pavelski. Yes. I like the aesthetic of the stick. I will say. How about that, the aesthetic of Pav's actual stick? Exactly. Yeah. So let's so talk rare. about his stick. I mean, it's it's white out, man. It's white. Out. Like, <laughs> it bothers. It, it, when I'm watching on TV, I always you always know when Pav's on the ice. Yeah. You can tell. I mean, the way he skates, and uh, but you can see that white stick. But I always wonder. I wonder if I love to talk to him about why all white and white tape. Because yeah. remember, there's always that old conversation of, yeah. you know, when you're a kid, yeah. black tape, it oh, it hides the hides puck. Hides the puck. Because the puck on your tape. A lot I of use, guys use I white use tape, white though. tape. I'm like, oh, so it blends in with the ice. ice. So I don't really know, <laughs> I don't really know what works, what doesn't, but this thing all plays games with me. All I cared about was tucking my jersey. This thing uh, looks, that's uh, all hey, I cared well, about. Well, you're yes. like Jersey yeah. tuck. Uh, great. I was. Jersey, we were quite similar. Yeah. Jer <laughs> jersey tuck is, exactly. is key, but also, um, this thing's nice and clean it's looking. It's clean looking, and Pabs is so good at it. You know, he's got, he's got a pretty Pretty long uh, blade on this. He's got the rounded toe, which I mean, pretty. It's it's a heel curve, so yeah. he, he's going to be reliable on both sides. And but it's it, got that little like ramp up to yeah, it. Yeah, it's got kind of like, like yeah, like it's just, that's for deflecting pucks, right? You get it down, that puck's going to ramp up into the top of the net. It's got a little bit of a loft, so yeah, it, it doesn't like a wedge take, it doesn't take much with the yeah. wedge to get the puck yeah, up exactly. when you're shooting too. And, and we just kind of get to the tape because we know he's got a great shot. I mean, this yeah. guy, what's he got now? After those four goals, he got one in in, in one of the more recent games. Only he's got two 70 players. now, yeah, seven only zero. Two active in the playoffs. players have more playoff goals. Crosby, yep. and Ovechkin. Correct. Yes. There you go. That's incredible. Ding ding ding. Yes, yeah. but what, I want to talk about some of the the brains behind the operation yeah. as far as with Joe Pavelski. But then we're going to see his shot on this first goal here. We can just kind of get right into it. He's got a, he's got a great shot. He don't score that many goals without having a good shot, right? So we know this. And uh, Pavs, you're going to you're going to watch him. Uh, he, he He's right here. He's going to grab this, catch it, release it. Just good shot, man. Shoot it low, shoot it hard on the other side. Here's some of the little things he does. And we're going to watch him. This is one of his deflections. And we're going to get a replay on this one on the back side. And a beautiful deflection. This is what he's known for. Watch right here. Pause it right there, please. Go back to the behind the net. So you got uh, you got Borgen here. All right? He's in a battle. Your job, what you want to do is beat your defenseman in front of the net. But this is what I love. This is where the smarts come in. It's not just his ability to tip pucks, but is he wants Wants to get separation. He, Joe Pavelski, is going to come around the net this way, and Borgen's going to do what he's supposed to get back to the front as quickly as he can. Don't chase behind the net, but he doesn't want to get tied up. He doesn't want to stick on him. Free yourself up, roll it forward here, and he's going to go on this side. Now, watch. It's a game of trying to get away from Borgen here. He's going to come in, he's going to, he's going to bump up. Now, watch. He's going to, he's going to get away from him. Keep coming up, keep coming up. He's going to get up because he's going to get separation. He's not going to allow Borgen Stick to get in there. And I'll tell you what, it's hard deflecting the puck when you're skating towards the shot. It's easier to do it when you're standing still. We'll get into that after this, but we'll roll this forward great into the Sally next clip. Too. Great yeah, Sally, too. Great Sally. Great Sally. This got the team going. I mean, they lost this game, but I mean, Pavs, like this guy. And this is just to bring it back to the top here, please. Watch him. Watch his route. He's not puck watching. Pause it right here. So Pavs is right there. This puck's going to get laddered out. Out. Watch him navigating through trap. He's he's looking this way. He's ducking in. He doesn't want to get slowed down by getting tied up physically with somebody. Watch his route. Roll forward. He's going to come in here, skate this way. He's looking around, cutting back this way. Now look at around. Going to shove, cut back that way. Like he's he's just always scouring. He sees the plays before they happen, and that's why he's in the right place at the right time. And then we'll roll forward here. This is his fourth goal. And watching this game, what a special game this was. You're sitting there thinking. Like, uh, look at that a little bunt, a little bunt. That's silly. Jeez. Well, what did I say before? <laughs> uh, geez. Whole, uh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's an oh, geez. Uh, Just come in here a little, a little touch like that. Yeah. And, and, and my point in all that is like, Pavs, just like we see Connor and we see Sid. Yeah. When we see these guys sometimes come in the zone, they pull up saucer pass to an area you're like who's that to and all of a sudden you yeah. see a guy blowing in just jumping on the puck and going you're like how did he see that before that play happened Pavs understands where to go how he should get there it's like the puck is secondary he's thinking all right that puck is going to get here and everyone else is watching that I'm just going to navigate my way and find that right spot and he's so good at it yeah I like that when you pointed out that he used the net to separate from Borgen, and even when they got back, and this is for the defenders out there, like like he has his stick down, like he's he, if you put your stick like you're going in, like Borgen, his stick is in here with him. Yeah. But Borgen really needs to have his stick in here with him. But but that's how As he's getting he away. Can, though. So right? so if Pabs just comes in front, and yeah. he remember how he bodied he up. Bodied he up, bodied up. He bodied up, but then he kept skating yeah. this way. So look, yeah. Borgen wants to get there, but yeah. he's skating away. Yeah. So Actually, now he's if anything, he's yeah. he might draw a penalty but here. Th but you that, know? you're right. But that's the focus of the defender, like. 
because I know Daryl Sutter was big on that with the L.A. teams, and a lot of the coaches are, is like to get that stick. And Pavelski is what he's really good at is to what you pointed out of freeing himself again. So when you're playing against Joe Pavelski, you've got to be extra certain that you have a little control of his stick because he's always going to keep freeing yeah. it up because he knows – what a weapon it is because that's all he does every single day. That's part of what's Before so impressive, Before practice, though, is every that... day, tips, yes. tips, tips. That's part of what's so impressive about it, though, is that in the chaos of those battles in front of the net, he seems like it happens in slow motion, slow motion for him. Like, right? yeah. He always manages to get free. It's wild. And, and, and this is the crazy part about it is, all right, so his camera, camera is um, you know, higher in the zone, and, yeah. and say I'm net front here. I mean, do we want to do it over by the net? Do Why we have not? the ability to go by the we net? The, we can so, walk around Listen, today. if you go there, they will follow, yeah, they let's will go. follow us. Uh, so, so the one thing with uh, tip and pucks, and, and we know this from even the youth level age, yeah. and I'll do this as a lefty here just yeah. for camera purposes. If you're standing net front, and the easiest way to deflect pucks is standing off to the side, yeah. and you shoot pucks, and I'm going yeah. deflecting them yeah. like that. Uh -huh. Everybody in the NHL can do it that way. Yeah. But what doesn't that do? That doesn't take away the goalie's eyes. eyes yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so you're taught to stand in front of the goaltender, and now instead of tipping off to the side, the little ole, we used to call it yeah. ole. So, guys, sometimes it's, it's the right play. Yeah. Shots come at the last second, take a step, bah, try to bat yeah. it down. Uh -huh. but, sometimes, <laughs> but sometimes it's about, all right, instead of deflecting down the side, it's harder to deflect it here. You know what's even harder with this? You deflect it this way, I mean, you're leaving yourself vulnerable. You hit your so the face. puck's coming, and now instead of just deflecting it up and down, you're trying to catch it this way. Pavs is so good at that. He just sits there, his stick's out here, and when his stick's out here, yeah. the defenseman behind him, he can't get his stick yeah, under and lift it, it up in the yeah. air. So, like, exactly. if, if I'm standing in front of you, mm -hmm. and I'm just doing this, and I'm, I'm screening the goaltender, you can get your stick under my stick because yeah. I'm, I'm giving yeah, you my stick. Exactly, yeah. Pavs de deflects like this. Yeah. His stick is out here, yeah. and I'm, I make He's myself using, big. Yeah. What are you going to do now? Yeah. You don't have I got a foul. You got a foul. You got a foul. So, but and I'm a dirty player. The yeah, way I listen, would. Hey. I've heard about your pickup. Yeah. Games, we right? got a few the way, the a few way that Pabs thinks the game yeah. is so outrageous. Yeah. I'm not sure it can be taught. It's a feel. He's always yeah. done it. Sure, he's the best at doing this. He might be one of the best athletes yeah. in hockey and other sports as well. Yeah. But his Good brain, yes, yeah. his brain sets him up for success because he knows. And we always say. The puck always finds good goal scores. How many times do we see him on those clips even? Yeah. The puck just goes there. And then yeah. that what, little kiss at the end just comes yeah. through. The puck's come through, like you said, slow motion. Just a little, just a little, oh, a little bunt. Boop, yeah. like that. And just get a little piece. Yeah. I mean, this guy's dynamic. I love what you said about, about him, you know, his smarts and running the routes and putting himself College in position. College guy. All those things. But at the end of the day, every day. He works at 35 it. minutes, 40 minutes yeah. with, in San Jose with Brent Burns. He, he drags somebody with him no matter what team he's on. They come out. But every And you played in the league for many years, Mike. That's a little extra commitment, right? Yeah. Every, every single, single day. Game, the best players always are.